Trade Radio is proudly supported by Host Plus, the official superannuation partner of the AFL. Having a top performer on your side, that's a plus. This is general advice only. Consider the relevant Host Plus PDS available at hostplus.com.au before deciding if Host Plus is appropriate for you. For a description of the target market, please read the target market determination, TMD, available at hostplus.com.au. Past performance is not a reliable indicator of future performance. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. It's the 5th day of October. The McCafe menu. <laughs> oh, have a look at this. Sausage Silvani to come in and talk uh, all things trade. Mike Gadding, the former England captain. The Ashes are in doubt, we are told. A bit of NFL. Extraordinary uh, day yesterday with uh, big Bill Belichick and Tom Brady coming together. So we're going to speak to Trey Wingo, our great friend over there in the States. Wayne Hawks is going to join us. Got a new segment today, Where Are They Now? I've called for the, my favourite horse of all time. So we're going to talk to Wayne Hawks about the Grey Flash Chautauqua. Sam Edwin. Trade update, ENS open line, temper text machine. Look at that, Whispers. I don't think we'll have time to get through all that. Good morning, Gary. Good morning, everybody. Yes, it's a where are you now or where are they now of a difference. So we're actually going to trace and track down our favourite horses over the time that you and I have been uh, following uh, <laughs> race horsing. Yes, that's Which right. is a long time now. Uh, we've had some favourites. We've had many favourites over that period of time. And we, we, we said to each other at the end of the show yesterday, I wonder where Chautauqua well, is. Well, I know now. where Chautauqua is. Oh, do you? Because okay. it's my favourite. Horse. Okay, well, I said to you, I wonder where Bullabagazi yes. is now. I've got to track down Bullabagazi because you won oh. mountains <laughs> of money on one particular race day. But Chautauqua fascinates me more than any horse I've ever watched in my life because I love the fact that it would just, in the end, after having a celebrated career, said enough's enough. Stopped jumping. <laughs> just get on YouTube and watch it. If you want to just remind yourself what we're talking about. You get in the stool and the barrier would open and it'd just go, not today, champ. <laughs> and the jockey be sitting there going, come on, go, go. And he goes, no, nah, not feeling it today, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is. I, I still think that's one of the best things I've they ever They tried seen. everything, didn't they? Every, well, we'll talk to Wayne exactly. Hawks about Exactly, we'll find out from Wayne. Because the other thing is he used to run, he's, because he was as quick as any horse you've ever seen. Yeah. Some days he'd look like, this is what it looked like for me. He knows nothing about racing. He'd go, the barriers would come over and he'd sort of go, mm, all right. And he'd jump and the re- he'd let the rest of them go and he'd just, just ambling along at the back going, mm, I don't know if I'm feeling it or not. And then come to the straight and go, hear the crowd and go, well, not a bad crowd in today. All right, I'll have a go. And then whoosh, down the outside <laughs> and win. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. So Can you recall any of the things that they tried? Like they tried to trick the horse, didn't they, about the fact that they were loading him into the barriers, didn't they? Didn't is, they? Is this how a, do you trick it? the horse? Well, you try different. You know how they sometimes put a hood over the horse yeah, yeah, and like, like the, all that sort of different, mm. yeah, different techniques trying to well, find, the, find the right way to the, load the, it in. The jockey just sitting there. The, I don't know who it was. Is it James McDonald or someone? The uh, gates would fly open and he's just sitting there going like this. <laughs> Come on, go, you I donkey. <laughs> <laughs> I love that horse. Uh, I love that horse. I'm going to, I know it's gone into it mm. as an equestrian horse now, so I'll find out where it is. I'm, I'm going to go and visit it. How would you describe yesterday? This is, uh, we're going to talk to Trey Wingo a little bit later, but you and I both uh, watched the NFL yesterday. It was the big game, the first time that Brady been back to New England to play against his old team with Belichick there. How would you explain or describe the embrace that they had post game yesterday. Those um, two, I would two say old buddies. Tepid. <laughs> it wasn't warm. It was tepid. <laughs> it was. They had to do it, but it was almost like it appeared that they did it under suffering. They did it because they knew that every every shot, yeah. the only shot that anybody wanted to take that day, and the only bit of vision that anybody wanted to see that day was the two of them come together. So they had to do it. Well, I, I've since read that they were acutely aware of that, and that Brady came out late for the game, like later than he normally would. Mm. He didn't want any of the fanfare. He didn't want any of the, you know, the cheering and the back slapping and catching up with old mates. He did all that after the game, right? Right. But then I read where they had a, it was timed, a 23 minute catch up after the game. Oh, they he, caught he, up. He and Belichick. Oh, of course I did. Yeah. And yeah, no, of course I did. Have you noticed also, he's nearly, how old is he, Tom now? 43 or 44? Mm, yeah, no, yeah, I think he's 44. Um, there's sort of a Tom Brady hair watch going on over there in the States too, because a bit like yourself, you know, as you, your, your, well, your, your hair, well, there's a hair watch going on here on SEN. Yes. Everyone's waiting to spot the first gray hair yes. that appears on your head. And the same thing with Tom, 
What in terms of grey? Yes, with Tom. So he's 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 been dyeing his hair for a couple of years. What? And now others are saying, oh, gee, the dye, it, it, like he can hardly even tell anymore that he's dyeing his hair. Just sell much. Just sell much. Well, the, others that are closer to the scene <laughs> know than. So Giselle must have found some very good product for him because it's an excellent, it's an excellent, excellent uh, dye. dye. It's an excellent dye. Yeah. I was a bit worried yesterday when it started to rain. <laughs> <laughs> he had some streaks down his cheeks. Oh dear. Hey, um, do you see Master Chef celebrity version? Does it start on Sunday? Yes, Sunday night, seven thirty. Nick Rebold's in it. Yeah, Our I hear man. he goes really Our well. Oh man, very good cook, very mm. good chef. Yeah, well, and I was reading. He's a, he's a foodie. You know? He's a real foodie. I was reading about the. I'd like you. Uh, you can do that. I think you'd be no, good. No, on I'm not, I no. think you'd be good on the open flame. I'd be excellent on the open <laughs> flame. You're quite <laughs> right. Have another drink of coffee <laughs> before you answer me. <laughs> I'd be excellent on the open yeah, flame. Yeah, well, well, why don't you put your. No, I'm, I get embarrassed doing stuff like that. Too I like to do all the best stuff in the privacy of my own home yeah, or in I'll my tell backyard. You what, there's not many that haven't done a. Um, Celebrity, something. Uh, what do you call it? reality show now? You well, you did your you did your F one celebrity. Stuff. That wasn't a reality show. That was enough though. That wasn't a reality show. It I'm, wasn't filmed. I'm proud to say, put my hand up. I haven't done any. I've of that. not done it. Yes, you have. I you have done, not. You done the celebrity? F1? It wasn't a reality show. Well, what was it then? It was a race. It was a fair income race. It was a cams race. Yes, but it had celebrity in the title. It had no filming around it. <laughs> Did that? No. Well, you would have been disappointed with that. I think you and I might be the last two. <laughs> if we hold out long enough. Yeah. If I said to you, if, how, you know Duck reasonably well. I know Wayne Carey very well, and I like him. Mm. I like him a lot. But he's a very proud man. Vain, I'd say. <laughs> you say vain, I say proud. <laughs> Okay. Nothing wrong with being vain. The PR blurb came out yesterday. Yeah. He's going to be in the SAS show. Right. right. And this is under his name. So they had they had a blurb on everybody, right? So they've got a pick of each one, Barry yeah. Hall, everyone there, right? A little bit of a blurb about them. Yeah. Under Wayne Carey, it read, the oldest contestant at 57 years of age is Wayne Carey. He's not 57. <laughs> no, he's 51. Oh, he won't be happy with that. <laughs> he won't be be filthy about that. I don't oh, no, wouldn't want to be livid about that. SAS, SAS bloke that has to front up to him and say, "Listen, you old, you old bugger." Now, you you said this poster show yesterday, so I'm going to attribute it to well, you. Well, hang on. What are you talking about? You said when we're talking about the fact that Barry Hall and Wayne Carey were going to be oh, in yeah, this Barry, show together, Barry you Hall's said, here. what are the chances of the two of them ending up in the boxing ring at some stage oh, opposed to each other? Certainty. Absolutely. So I didn't, I've only just sort of started watching the last week, right, since I've been back. Mm. And I missed the boxing, but apparently it was Sam Burgess and Heath Shaw got in the ring. Yeah. Well, I don't know if they get in the ring. They put boxing gloves on. Yeah, they on put gloves on, yeah. And punch each other. Yeah. Right. So the the uh, Bazza, of course, can box. Of course he can mm. box. We've seen him. They reckon the duck, he can go. Yeah. So I've heard this. Putting those two in the – on the, put your headset headgear on and your boxing gloves, that would be enough for me, to get me in front of the television, watching <laughs> those two go on at it. There's every chance that's going to that happen. Be, that could be a 12 round. <laughs> that's every chance that's going to happen. Oh dear. They've yeah. got a good cast, a big cast, huge yeah. cast, and then, massive and, cast. And you tell me Nathan Buckley's in the jungle? No, you told me that No, Nathan you told me. No, 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 no. Let's get Four this right. Four weeks ago before no, it was broken on the weekend. I didn't name anybody. Right. I said that I'd heard a recently departed AFL coach, oh, right. a very high profile <laughs> coach, was going somewhere on From one of the celebrity shows. In a suburb. And then you read something off the text message or off your phone and said that it was uh, <laughs> no. Nathan Buckley. That's how it all played out. Well, God help me. Who hasn't gone on there? That's, well, yeah, I didn't even realise that the show was still going. What, in the jungle? Yeah. That's the one I wouldn't do. The celebrity get me out of the jungle one is the one that I wouldn't do. Putting your arm in spiders and snakes and um, eating off. Yeah. Like, yeah. Eat, oh, oh, I couldn't. Eat. Buck's going to go <laughs> drinking a um, smoothie full of brains. And, yeah. How and, do you uh, train for that? Oh, <laughs> God knows. I did do Celebrity Knockout, Gordon. That's quite right. I did. Did you? Yes, I did Celebrity there Knockout. There you go. I am the last I'd of the non-celebrity. No, no, that wasn't a reality show. Yes, it was. No. Celebrities? Same as you doing the Celebrity Race. Same Mine thing. wasn't filmed. Mine wasn't a show. Mine was a dead set race. This was just a TV show <laughs> program. 
Um, a lot of fun. I formed a lot of really strong, oh, yeah. uh, long-lasting friendships yeah. and relationships. That's right. You were Wally Lewis when we got him on. Didn't know who you were. Um, you see, there's a new Spider-Man. If you, when's the last time you went to the movies? Um, I wouldn't have been at a Do you like movie. going to the movies? No. I wouldn't have been. You don't like going to the movies? No. Not since probably four or five years ago. Oh, I love going Maybe to longer. Movies. Anyway, is Tom Hardy the greatest villain in a movie ever? He's great. He's a great he, villain. He's in the new Spider-Man one called Let There Be... I can't read my own writing. Carnage. Let there be carnage. The new Spider-Man movie, and he's the villain. And it's taken all box office records in North America, which wouldn't surprise anyone, given we haven't been able to get out and watch a good movie lately. So You were talking about something else you've been watching yesterday, too. What was that? You said you'd found a new show. No. Or was it me? I know, no. Someone said, have we, had we been watching the um, octopus squid. one? The squid game. Right. What's it called? The squid game. No, I haven't. It's very weird. I watched like... A minute, yeah. It's like it's all dubbed. You, you actually, you'd love it. It's got you can watch subtitles, right? Is it in I French? think it's Korean, right? Okay. Um, I don't quite understand the I premise of I it. I can't read. In Korean. fact, send, we haven't done this for a while. Send through some nominations because I definitely need something new to watch. Virgil, I heard Virgil is very good. Mm. It's about submarines or something. I started or Vigil, wa- Vigil, Vigil, or Virgil. I saw that advertise. I started watching uh, Raising uh, Canaan. I think it's called Raising Canaan. Uh, it's in uh, oh, South that's Bronx. A, that's the uh, spin-off of Power. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Kanan is the son of the guy in Power on, um, on oh, Stan. Good. Yeah, it's good. It's like a, uh, uh, it's sort of like a, a bit like a Wire. Did you ever watch the show yeah, Wire? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's a bit like a, a Wire type show. But have you watched Billy, Have you watched Power, the original? No, I haven't. No. Well, you might like that as well. Well, I might, now that you've told me about it. Send them through. Send them through. 433 I'd love to see it. Um, what else caught your eye? Anything? Uh, yesterday, what else caught my eye? I listened to uh, George Hewitt uh, with the pipe yesterday. Oh, yeah? It was um, it was a reverse pipe that he did yesterday. What do you mean? He did a reverse pipe. What, he put the lit part in his mouth? Oh, I'm sure old mate's got it. Have we got it out the back there? I yeah. asked it for him yesterday. This yeah. is what he did. He turned it around on pipe. Pipe was interviewing George- him, and then this happened. George, welcome to you. Great to have you on the program. Yeah, thanks. Happy day. Um, congratulations on being able to move clubs and uh, get to your destination and it's been an interesting little period for those that um, have had uh, a want to move. Jake Kelly also has moved. Marbia Chole well, has gonna, also moved. You're play the whole interview, are you? No, I don't think, uh, I, don't think <laughs> well, I explained myself well, I well enough. Well, I don't think you did either. Because what happened was that uh, George turned the interview back on uh, oh, Dwayne. That's the bit I thought that we had. That was the whole idea of playing oh, it this morning. We'll that that George then. actually started interviewing the pipe about his time back in oh, South Australia. Apologies, everyone. I've read this wrong. What have you done? It's not Spider-Man, apparently. What is it? I thought it was Spider-Man. Venom. What's, is Venom different to Spider-Man? Oh, I've made a mess of that. I've really made a mess of that wisp. I don't understand that uh, superhero genre, superhero genre, but <laughs> look at them come for me. I you, pass on all that stuff. You idiot. It's not Spider-Man. You stuffed it up. It's Venom, not Spider-Man. <laughs> And Julie, yes, uh, we, if you missed the end of the show yesterday, we also missed Zach Merritt. But you explained what happened to Zach Merritt yesterday, yeah, didn't mate, you? Yeah, I, I, he basically slept in, I think. He just gave us a lemonade. <laughs> uh, let's take a break. We've got a big show. Sauce, Mike Gatting, Trey Wingo, Wayne Hawke, Sam Edmund. That's enough for you. That's all coming up here for Coke and Credit Cards. No annual fees. Amazing rewards. Garage doors. Read to find 4 ddoorscomau Trade Radio is proudly supported by Host Plus, the official superannuation partner of the AFL. Having a top performer on your side, that's a plus. This is general advice only. Consider the relevant Host Plus PDS available at hostplus.com.au before deciding if Host Plus is appropriate for you. For a description of the target market, please read the target market determination, TMD, available at hostplus.com.au. Past performance is not a reliable indicator of future performance. Smarter, quieter, safer. Garage doors redefined. Discover more at 4ddoors.com.au. Kogan credit cards. No annual fees, amazing rewards and complimentary Kogan first membership. Breakfast with Gary Lyon and Tim Watson. Great to have you with us this morning. I'm going to go back and have a go at uh, uh, Squid Game, Steve. I haven't watched it. I watched the, the, um, what do you call it, the trailer. And it just seemed rather strange. But Steve says you've got to persist. It is on the verge of becoming Netflix's most streamed show ever. It's a brilliant show. All right, Steve, I'll make my commitment. I'm going to watch an episode of The Squid Game. And can I just read you, I got, I've been heavily, heavily criticised. I'm on the verge of abuse. 
from some people this morning <laughs> okay. about getting the Tom Hardy movie wrong. This is the headline. Spider-Man top flick. <laughs> How can I be wrong with that? That's what it says. Let There Be Carnage, the latest instalment in the Spider-Man universe, has debuted at pre-pandemic levels. That, is that not a Spider-Man movie? Sounds like a Spider-Man Sounds movie like to, me. to me. Any other good nominations coming through there? Yeah, Yellowstone, which we love. That's coming back soon. It's uh, back in November, so I'm looking forward to watching that. Peaky Blinders on, oh, Dave. Come on, Dave. You're a bit slow. Get on to Peaky Blinders. That's an absolute belter. Um, what else? Uh, Wentworth, yep. Um, that's the Great Australian Series, of course. The Dawn Wall, have you watched that on Netflix? No, I haven't. Line of Duty on Netflix. Best show I've seen in years. That's from Ferg. Good on you, Ferg. Oh, that's Pete's good. in Proud. I'm not sure if he's got a nomination for a show that we should be watching now that we've got no footy or anything else. What's happening, Pete? Well, good morning, boys. You're certainly up and about this morning. Mm. Uh, Gary, you've got to stop trying too hard to convince us on the show because we know of an evening when you sit down with Nicky and say, come on, can we watch the grand final one more time, honey? <laughs> You're just trying to pull the wool over our eyes. Hey, Pete, but I was just I, on my yeah. three kids' lives, I haven't watched the replay yet. Uh, I will. Never, never that. Okay, we're impressed. Uh, and Chautauqua boys, we used to call Chautauqua the Tim Borland of the horse racing world. Uh, the gates would open and the horse would obviously be thinking, I don't think so, Tim. Tim Tim who? Tim Borland. Al Borland. I'm sorry, Al Borland from Tool Time. Oh. So he was the Al Borland of the, of the horse racing world. I'm with you I don't now, think please. so, Tim. Yeah, I think you're right there, uh, Pete. I'm with you. We're going to talk to Wayne Hawks about Chautauqua. Our new spring carnival segment, where are they now? Yeah. <laughs> where great horses and where they've ended up. It's going to be that great. Might, that might end up in a very sad, sad discussion. <laughs> no. No. No, it won't, Gary. No, it won't. It won't at all. Um, and I, I keep... Bumping in. Now we're upstairs here. We're on the fifth floor for a while because uh, others have taken over our studio downstairs. It's oh, one of, great because um, Hoss, I bump into him every morning yeah. and just having a chat. Hoss Bensley. Yeah, about uh, race horsing again. You two. Are, uh, you're, uh, we're a meeting of the, the great horse racing the, the minds. The water cooler are. just chewing the fat over horse racing. Can we bring him in course, some morning and have a chat with him as well? Hey, uh, there's a book. Oh, hang on. Controversy. What's going on? Venom is the bad guy is the Spider-Man comic, yes, but Venom is a standalone movie about Venom only. Hmm, I don't know that. I don't, I'm not sure I'm buying that because it no. says Spider-Man is the top flick. That's the headline. If you like reading, it's an old-fashioned form of uh, entertainment. There's a book out. It's called It's Better to Be Feared. It's about the New England Patriots, written by a bike by the name of Seth Wickersham, and it details the relationships between the owner – Robert Kraft, mm -hmm. Bill Belichick, the coach, the greatest coach pe perhaps in the history of the NFL, and Tom Brady. No, it sounds fantastic. I listened to um, uh, Bill Simmons talking about it in a podcast the other day. It's fascinating, the relationship and how they all went about it and um, no, the, the time sound... they spent together. It's really, really – it's detail, Gary. It's in the detail. That's what a good story is. That's why you tell a good yarn because you've got great detail. That story that you tell about uh, you and – Wolsey nah, and that Rex enough. going down hey. in the Nissan. Yes. Got great detail in that story. That's why new, it resonates with I people. I had a whole new audience in Perth. <laughs> oh, did you? A whole, did that get a run a out of there? A whole new state to deliver that on. <laughs> did it get a run? No. No, it did not. I might be going back on a tour, though. Um, I'm, you know how I was, I was over there for a long time, so I had nothing to do. I, was re I read. I read. Did you? And I went back. I had my... Um, my iPad, uh, not my iPad. Yeah, yeah, it's got all my books on it. Yeah. So I read all the old books. <clears throat> I'm reading this other Jeffrey Archer, Cain and Abel trilogy. Have you read that? Oh, I read all those, yeah. Many yeah, years ago. Well, you could go back and read them again. If you, I, I'm reading them again. I can't remember any part of it. Unbelievable. But you know how they end. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. I'm telling you, I don't. <laughs> all those books have a twist. And once you've read them once, you can't go back and read Tim, them again because you know where it's headed. I'm, it's like I'm going into, back and watching The Sting. I'm into the second one, and I tell you, I can't remember one part of it. Right. And I'm enjoying it every bit as much. Well, you could go back and watch the movie The Sting because you'd get a great surprise again and a shock. No, I would. I don't know what happened in the end of The Sting. <laughs> Did you ever see the movie? A long time ago. <laughs> and, but that's the thing. You know, I can read <laughs> books or watch movies and forget them very quickly. <laughs> If you're just going to do it, think, boy, how old, how long do you, you know when you sit around and you talk movies with people and they go, they start quoting passages yeah, and yeah. verbatim, I can sit there and go, what, what are you talking about? Hamish is good like that, isn't he? Unbelievable. He, he can remember do, great chunks of he films. He used to and, do it all the time. I go, what, 
<laughs> what was that? What, what movie is that? From? <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, Gav. I don't know that Ana Vista has caught up uh, for a coffee with Chautauqua during the week. I think it I don't did. know that. I don't know that for sure. Um, Infatuated with American rubbish. Who is? Who, who's, who's that? You haven't put your name to We're gonna might. We might start making a um, decision here. If you've got no name, you don't get no, you get no read out. Wisp. Look, you know, one man's meat is another man's poison, whoever sent that is. You think it's American rubbish. Um, we find it interesting. I find it interesting. Yeah, and so uh, we're talking about some of the greatest uh, athletes and coaches in the history of world sport and uh, what they brought to their game. And sometimes it can apply to our game and we can have a discussion about it. And sometimes if Gary's in the mood, he can make it interesting as well. <laughs> about what? Okay. Very calm in a crisis is the Hoss. I was talking to the Hoss about that. You know, did you see the vision of the Hoss? Yeah, with the earthquake. When the earthquake, yeah. yeah. That went all around the world. I don't think all around the he's world. still got his tip out. Yeah. He's still got the odds out for the five. Six ten. Did it win? <laughs> I don't know. Did you I, ask Hoss if it won? I don't know. I, I need Very to ask old. him. Next time I bump into him having a coffee, I'll ask him whether or not it won. Apparently All not. around the world. You had people calling him from the UK, from America. Mm. That guy, they call him the that uh, that guy over there in Australia. <laughs> Why not join over 1 million traders globally who've already chosen CMC Markets? CMC Markets support you whenever the markets are open with award-winning platforms backed by 30 years' experience. So trade your way. Visit cmcmarkets.com. All trading involves risks.